Now here the question is two fair dice, each with faces numbered one to six are rolled together. The sum of numbers on the face is observed. The process is repeated till the sum is either a prime number or a perfect square. Suppose the sum turns out to be a perfect square before it turns out to be a prime number. If P is the probability that this perfect square is an odd number, then the value of 14 P is. Now this sum, it can be a prime number if the sum is either 2, 3, 5, 7 or 11. Now we'll get 2 if we have 1, 1. For 3, it'll be 1, 2, 2, 1. For 5, it is 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1. 7 is 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6, 1 and 11 is 5, 6 and 6, 5. So we have 5 and 5, 10 and 5, 15. So there are 15 possible cases. So the probability that this sum will be a prime number will be simply 15 by 36. Now it will be a perfect square if the sum is either 4 or 9. Now it will be 4 if it is 1, 3, 2, 2 and 3, 1 and it will be 9 if it is 3, 6. 4, 5, 5, 4 and 6, 3. So probably that this sum, it is a perfect square. It is 7 by 36. Now we have two events. Say this event A, when the sum turns out to be a perfect square before it turns out to be a prime number. So we'll find this probability of A now it can be a perfect square on the first row. So it will be this 7 by 36 plus now we need to get a second attempt and we will get a second attempt. So this first attempt it should not be a prime number and it should not be a perfect square. So this probability will be 1 minus now 15 plus 7 will be 22 divided by 36 and 22 divided by 36 is 14 by 36 so it will be this 14 by 36 and then on the second attempt we get this as 7 by 36 now we don't get a perfect square on the first two we get it on the third so it will be this 7 by 36 and we will continue up to infinite and then we have this event b that this perfect square is an odd number. Now this perfect square will be an odd number. Then if we look at the property of A intersection B, that means we get an odd perfect square before it turns out to be a prime number. Now it will be an odd number if we have this sum as 9. So this success will be 4 by 36 plus now it will be 14 by 36 into 4 by 36 and this series again will continue up to infinite. So this required probability of B if A has already happened will be this GP 4 by 36 plus 14 by 36 into 4 by 36 up to infinite upon 7 by 36 plus 14 by 36 into 7 by 36 up to infinite. Now this is A upon 1 minus R and this also is A upon 1 minus R. I will cancel. 36 will also cancel. So this conditional probability will be simply 4 by 7. Now we need to find the value of 14p. So the value of 14p will be simply 8 and that is the answer to this question.